This show is a review of all your favorites in the field. In the course of a month's program, I'll review comics, film, literature, music, television, and video games that are horror themed. As your host, I'll give you an introduction, a rundown, and an overall assessment on how the piece did. My opinions will reflect with that of the gods, who will determine the fate of the reviewed art and give it a grading scale of a severed heads ranging one from 10. Get it? Got it? Gods be good. Ah! Here it is again, and it stings ah! like the first time. It seems it never ends. Double nickels on your dimes. Ah. I thought we were friends. I guess it just depends who you ask. These feelings leave me with a hole in my chest. Like, what? My name is John Martinez, and you were watching Whore Yourself Out. You ever hear of that three-member goth punk band that is based out of Chicago called Alkaline Trio? You may have recognized their logo on hot emo girl shirts that may possibly have daddy issues, or you know that awkward goth kid that may have it tattooed on his arm? You know, the one that looks like he's about to go Columbine? Well, these are popular 90s punk acts that have always obsessed on the morbid. Damnesia is not only a witty spin for a name of a title, but also includes a witty spin on already hit songs that they have released. With the exception of a couple tracks, Damnesia features past songs heard on the radio or your local Pandora radio station, and they put an acoustic twist on it. And what's great about taking hits from Alkaline Trio is there is never a shortage of odd, horror-esque themes in their songs. You've got a double entendre with a song calling all skeletons. The track, This Could Be Love, is very misleading. Well, unless you're a serial killer that recognizes the fascination with torturing victims. The American Scream, another instant classic that gives itself away in its name, is the CD music to the God's ears. As an ambassador on the God's behalf, it's my understanding that the real concern only goes to the fact that it does not feature all horror type songs. And in some areas, it does give us a reminiscence of that popular punk emo scene that was back in the early thousands. But the tracks that do explore the dark side of the human minds does a stellar job at it. And it's nothing I forget when the moon gets tired. This music may be slower and a bit more emotional than what you'd expect from a horror-themed album, but has all the elements that you need, and the lyrics live up to the horror recognition. Step right up and don't be shy, cause we are presenting a must-see show. Prepare yourself for one of the greatest stories ever told. We're gonna bring to you the realms of The Great and Secret Show by Clive Barker. My name is John Martinez, and you are watching Whore Yourself Out. <coughs> the Great and Secret Show is a graphic novel released by IDW Comics in the spring of 2006. It was written by Chris Royale, who also serves as the chief executive editor at IDW. The artwork had been done, was being done at, the artwork was done by Gabriel Rodriguez. If the name of the comic book sounds familiar, it's because it was originally a 1990 novel written by the chaotic likes of Clive Barker. I mean, we have a really abstract story here that kicks off in a dead letter mailbox room in the heart of Nebraska. I mean, because of a man's discovery of a unique pattern within the seemingly random letters in the post office, Randolph Jaffe decodes a secret supernatural element known as the art. Upon the discovery, Jaffe realizes that with enough discipline, he could transfer you to the most serene, yet dangerous place outside of our current world, quiddity. Sound confusing yet? <laughs> well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Chris Royale hits the key points of the story, and Gabriel Rodriguez does an amazing job capturing the colors. And in particular, there's an epic showdown between the two forces, where Gabriel brilliantly lights up the page with vivid colors that I imagined when I was reading it. I mean, it's a fun read on my part, but I don't have the authority to give it a good review. I'm just some Mexican down here. So how many heads from a human body will be sacrificed on behalf of Clive Barker's adaption? Have you got an idea for something that we should review? Comment on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or foryourselfout.com. And if we choose your item to review, then we'll feature your name on the program and send you our monthly giveaway.